The first rifle you encounter in the game is just called the rifle. It can be bought from the merchant for 12,000 pesetas. If you plan on fully upgrading the rifle, it will cost you an additional 277,000 pesetas, making the total price 289,000. This rifle also comes with an additional scope that will cost you an extra 7,000 pesetas. Once it is fully upgraded, it has a firepower of 12, firing speed of 2.73 seconds, a reloading speed of 2.33 seconds, and a capacity of 18 rounds. The exclusive upgrade takes a firepower up to 30, making it the most damaging rifle in the game. The rifle is modeled after the real-life Springfield M1903A4. Since the firepower is absurdly high, it will take out Ganados in one shot. However, if you do not upgrade the firepower, it will take around two body shots to kill. In most cases, it is still a one-shot headshot. The second rifle you can purchase in the game is a semi-auto rifle. This is obtainable in Chapter 3-1 and costs you 35,000 pesetas. To fully upgrade this weapon, it will set you back another 316,000 pesetas, making a total of 351,000. This rifle also offers an additional scope you can purchase for 10,000 pesetas. The fully upgraded stats are as follows. Firepower is 15, firing speed is 1.83 seconds, the loading speed is 1.33 seconds, and the capacity is 24 rounds. The exclusive upgrade takes a firing speed to 0.80 seconds, making follow-up shots extremely fast and makes it easy to take out large group of enemies. The semi-auto rifle is modeled after the real-life HNK SL8. Later in the game, in Chapter 5-1, you can come across the infrared scope that you can attach to either rifle. This scope makes it easier to take out regenerators and iron maidens. If you equip the scope on a fully or even partially upgraded semi-auto rifle, then it will make your life much more easy when it comes to taking out these annoying creatures. Do not recommend attaching it to the bolt action rifle just because it will take longer to actually shoot the parasites on the regenerators and it's just better off putting it on a semi-auto so you can follow up those shots pretty easily and take them out quickly. To wrap this up, the bolt action has double the damage of semi-auto but lacks at firing speed. That flaw alone makes semi-auto more favorable to me to use in this game. That'll wrap this video up. Make sure to check out the description for links to my other playlists relating to Resident Evil 4. Up next will be the miscellaneous weapons that could not fit into any of the other categories for this series, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Where's everyone going? Bingo?